sync apps and Kazumi uh, is really a solution uh, that will help any industry. Hello everyone, this is John and today we are kicking off this series with Julian Dilantek, a CRM consultant from Nexial, the first Salesforce partner in Europe celebrating their 20 plus years and one of our favorite partners here at Syncaps. Hey Julian, thank you for coming on today. It's a pleasure to work with you as one of our partners here with Syncaps for almost five plus years now. Onboarding your Salesforce clients with Syncaps as the go-to automation solution for your business and organization. How's it going there, Julian? Hi, John. Thank you very much for having me today. Uh, it's going pretty well, you know, summer is uh, getting warmer and everything's nice here. Um, so, yeah, happy to happy to interact with you, happy to, to, to talk to you today and thank you for the opportunity. Um, so we're talking about uh, an Excel. So just a quick intro, uh, if that's okay with you. So on my end, you know, I've been working at Nexel for the past five years. Uh, I've been wearing multiple hats. Um, I'm, you know, uh, at the same time, I'm building some demonstration. I'm also working on, on the project management and also working on the customer experience and customer support side. So quick word about Nexel. Uh, as you mentioned, very, very, very well. Uh, Nexel was founded almost 20 years ago, so back in 2002. Um, so we are actually celebrating our 20th birthday this year. So this is uh, the celebration are happening this uh, coming September in Geneva and Switzerland. So uh, you can go to our website, nexel.net to check out some more. Um, so just to get back on, on the topic, so we're a team of about 25 uh, multinational, multilingual people, all based in Switzerland. Um, so really, our uh, our mission here is to help our customers, uh, you know, build better relationship through the CRM solution. So we are focusing on, on Salesforce here, um, and we're also, you know, providing them with our strategic uh, uh, expertise. So we want them to be able, just like you, I guess, to, to focus uh, on their mission um, uh, more efficiently and work towards, you know, really their business goals, while we, on the other end, will take care of their systems. So that's really um, what we do. Um, so again, focus on everything Salesforce. Um, first uh, European Salesforce partner uh, in 2002. So we are operating over uh, many, many, a very wide customer base uh, that goes from uh, many industries. So nonprofit, you know, fintech, um, 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 chemical, pharma, manufacturing. We also have many different size of customers. So from the small and, and the startup customer to the uh, enterprise size and we work both locally uh, in Switzerland and also internationally, um, as, you may, uh, as you may imagine. So uh, really our services are very wide. Um, it goes from, you know, uh, consulting to um, um, technical services with, for example, developer team. Uh, we also have, you know, all of that uh, customer uh, experience where we will also work with our team to build website and, and do some uh, web design. Um, so again, project management and, and, and so on. And we also, uh, over time, developed uh, many different uh, solutions. Um, I'm just going to mention the QR bill. Um, in Switzerland, we recently had a change where, you know, uh, paying that via QR code uh, became like the new norm. And so we created a, a module for that, but we have many more. So again, check out nextall.net to have a bit, a bit more info. So in a, in a nutshell, that was uh, that uh, quick intro line. Thank you. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that's great to hear. By the way, uh, Julian, just a quick question here. Um, how do you celebrate your 20 plus years? Just all of the team will go to the Switzerland uh, because as far as I know, do you have a lot of team members, right? Like coming from a um, different country. So um, all of our uh, uh, team members are based in Switzerland, but we're coming from different parts of Switzerland. So we have a uh, team like uh, around Bern, Bern region. We have, of course, a, a, a part of our team, which is in the Geneva region. 
and part of our team who is more towards the German speaking region. So we're talking about, you know, on the Zurich side, for instance. Um, so we will like do our celebrations um, uh, in both in both uh, places, Geneva and, and Zurich. So yeah, we spread all over um, Switzerland and then yeah, we'll get together eventually. Mm, I see. Yeah, that's that's cool to 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 hear, um, Julian. Can you tell us about how does working with Salesforce as a boutique Swiss company and a, a Europe first partner? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, this been really a, a great uh, combination uh, of work between you know Salesforce and, and us. We're always in a very uh, close relationship, working relationship, working with you know whether that's. Uh, the Salesforce.com uh, um, um, AEs um, um, that we have close relationship with, or on the other end of the spectrum with the nonprofit organization with the Salesforce.org, as you may know, which is the initiative on the nonprofit side of things. So, yeah, I mean, we're having uh, a very close relationship and it's really uh, it's really great to, to, to be working together and it helps, I think, both ends to um, have the solution side as well as the uh, uh, partner uh, implementer that can uh, help the clients as well. So we're really working close together. Then when it comes to ROI, Julian, um, how do you see your clients like get this? Let's say, for example, when, when, when it comes to time, that how much they save for the time and how productive they are when you onboard clients with sync apps? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, you're talking about uh, uh, time and so on. So, um, yeah, no, for, for, for sure, definitely. Uh, when it comes to, uh, to uh, technology, whether that's uh, from, from Syncast like Hezumi or, or, or from Salesforce, uh, really it's about, you know, time is money and we want to save uh, our customers uh, uh, both ways. So time and money. Um, um, and there's a lot that uh, uh, Syncast like Hezumi uh, does. So for example, um, in terms of, of data, if we're talking about data specifically, uh, it saves them a lot of manual time to actually move data back and forth from a system or another, uh, which in turn, as you may know, uh, when you uh, talk about data, it may incur some errors uh, in, in the files. So having uh, 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 sync apps uh, as their integration platform will help them, you know, saving in terms of um, data quality. And it will, of course, uh, free time for them in terms of uh, where they can focus on, on their initiatives if we're talking about nonprofit, on their business if they, if they are for profit companies. Um, there's many other faults. So, for example, in terms of uh, visibility. Uh, of course, as you know, in the Salesforce world, it's all about that 360 degree view. Um, um, and the fact that, you know, the stakeholders in, in one company or a nonprofit are able to see uh, how and when the clients have been contact contacted uh, without having to switch apps, where they don't have to go to MailChimp because the information is in Salesforce. So it's very, very important. And it also helps in the third fold, which is collaboration. So um, it will you know, eventually reconcile uh, the marketing team and the sales team, and they can see how complementary they can be with one another, where you have uh, the marketing team who will focus on, for example, the marketing efforts with um, mailing campaigns, for instance, or newsletter creation and so on, and the, the sales team, if we're talking about both, both teams, where they will have, for example, a direct uh, conversation with the clients and they will see directly with the integration uh, that information from, uh, from MailChimp coming back to Kazumi. And they will see, you know, the different um, entry, point of entry and how the, the conversation can start and how it can benefit in terms of uh, creating new opportunities when the client's coming up saying, oh, I saw your newsletter and I saw your new product. Or, or you know that 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 kind of um, uh, way. So it's it's really it's really many folds that it can help. Uh, it's not only time and money, but time and money is there. That's for sure. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, I agree with that, Julian. Yeah, yes, but uh, because here in Sync Ups, the uh, the major role is you know considered as a bridge for both systems, so that 
all the organizations would have an easy access for them to see what's happening inside their both integrate uh, both system like the they need, they don't need to go to the another system just to check those engagements because Singas will do that automatically for you. But at the same time, all of the manually uh, manual imports and Im exporting thing, Singas will, uh, will do that automatically. So basically, um, that's a good feedback coming from you, Julian. So thank you for that. So yeah, um, talking about that, Julian. So. How's the ecosystem now of Salesforce going in this tech downturn, Julian? Yeah, exactly. So um, as you may, you probably have lived it yourself, but I think everybody was affected by, you know, uh, COVID-19, the pandemic. And we're all like um, see uh, uh, quite a transition at that time. So um, let me talk about two, two, two different uh, angles. The first at Nexon, the second, about really Salesforce and, and, and the tech world in general. So first, uh, on our end, we saw that period as a, an opportunity, um, which allowed us, you know, to invest in in Nexel in the company. Um, we could, for example, rebrand uh, Nexel in terms of the website and documentation. We had. Uh, new talents joining the team, and we also what we also did is that we had um, we have Nexel Angels, which is uh, uh, heading towards the non-for-profit sector. And with this initiative, we made a pro bono uh, work to help all of these uh, organizations who were in need at that time, at the time of the pandemic, to move towards you know, a more um, um, electronic uh, uh, relationship. And so we helped them on board onto uh, Salesforce and uh, Salesforce.org. Um, now the, the, the second fold is uh, about you know Salesforce and and, and, the, and the tech world. So really, what the pandemic uh, did is that it really reinforced um, the need for you know an all digital and work from anywhere uh, world. So in terms of Salesforce, it really continued its growth even though uh, the pandemic happened. Uh, it's still still growing uh, strong. And then we also seen this uh, illustrating by the acquisition of Slack. So uh, not so long ago, uh, Salesforce acquired Slack. And the idea again in the same uh, mindset here is to really be able to uh, uh, facilitate uh, communication, but also to kind of move that physical headquarter into like a digital headquarter. So this transition uh, really uh, was uh, pushed and emphasized by this uh, this epidemic. I see. So basically, it affects you during the pandemic time. So since twenty twenty, the uh, up to now, but I but we base it on the market, uh, Julian. We see that the trend is not that quite stable in the market, like in the sales for side. So yeah. So. Inter uh, aside from the internal organization in Nexio, how does it affect when it comes to the uh, you know revenues, something like that, or the company itself? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. So um, um, I, I really think that you know they had it's it's, it's about reorganization and 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 how they can uh, you know uh, keep uh, the relationship. Uh, despite you know not having as many uh, physical uh, touch points as they could have prior to the pandemic, so uh, really having tools like the one we're using now, for example, uh, you know helping helping them transition uh, quickly and smoothly, uh, just like you do at Kazumi, you know, with the integration, it's, 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 it all comes down to that, which is you know. Um, helping uh, um, into transition into having a workflow that's smoother and can you know have all of this um, um, synergy, uh, all of the solution uh, come together and work as one. Uh, I think that's uh, that's uh, really um, what what impacted uh, them most, and you know develop again new way to uh, to interact with. Um, either uh, their constituents if they're non-profits or their clients if they're uh, for-profit company. Then, Julian, so what's the process on onboarding a client with us? Uh, sure. So um, give me just one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. So, <laughs> yeah. so um, uh, as you know, we are, we are focusing on, on Salesforce and many of our clients use 
uh, separate tools, as, as we talked before, uh, related to their marketing efforts, marketing campaign. So um, yeah, we talked about newsletters or email campaign, for instance. So, so just to give a, maybe a more down to earth example, uh, in, on our end, uh, we see many of our clients using uh, MailChimp, uh, for example, and for that purpose, and since they are also uh, implementing Salesforce or they are already using Salesforce, they are looking for, you know, for some synergy. And this is where uh, uh, Sync out by Kazumi comes out. And basically um, how it happened is that our client reach out to us and, and tell us that they need uh, that integration. And, and based on the, the requirements that they have, what we do is that we will uh, configure uh, Kazumi for them and take them through uh, the setup configuration so that they can understand you know, later on what the flow is about, how it works, and how they could uh, uh, potentially and very easily you know, uh, change it uh, in the future. And now that you're mentioning uh, the onboarding process, I think it's very important to point out that um, you guys at Kazumi have been like a tremendous support uh, to us and to me in particular. Uh, so every step of the way, you know, that different step that you have when you do the setup from one to six, um, we know that uh, we can rely on your outstanding support. Um, to be transparent with everybody listening to us, I personally benefited from your help, John. Uh, many instances for that. So I really, uh, since I'm talking to you right now, I really just want to enjoy that time to, to say thank you. Um, but more more than you, there's the whole team who's been supporting, you know, as well. Uh, for example, Dave has been a great support. Uh, I also had interaction with Dax from the development team who's been very supportive as well. Um, so you guys are, are really, uh, you know, responsive. Uh, you're also very free to set up very quick sessions so we can have a conversation uh, very freely. Um, and yeah, I mean, even going further than this, uh, in the past, I had, you know, uh, requirements from clients and I was able to talk with the team and I saw that, for example, um, some features were implemented, re implemented really fastly after we talked about it. And that was really, really impressive to have, you know, that, that adaptation that you guys had from you know, what's the requirements to, here is the solution that was very impressive. Um, and we can really rely on you and on your work. So this is really uh, one of the strong suit that Kazumi has. And I'm really grateful for all of your help, all of your support at all times. It's really, really important for us and for our clients, obviously. Yeah, I see that, Julian. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, as Syncap's vision, that's what we wanted to, to have as a trademark, like to have a great support, to give them the detailed information about any of the use cases that you will be encountering or any use cases that you have so that we could, you know, guide you, guide you to the right uh, resource here. So, yeah, uh, I really appreciate that, Julian. And, yeah, hearing that one, Julian, based on your implementa implementation, how much time and money do you think it saves them? And because we've heard from our nonprofits consultant that it saves them $2,300 per year and also 200% ROI. How about your clients? We know for a fact that $2,300 is a big saving for a certain business, right? Absolutely. Yeah, no, that's correct. Um, so you mentioned this $2,300. Um, I mean, every, every, uh, every dollar or actually uh, on our end, every Swiss franc, uh, is basically uh, count, counting towards, you know, supporting, if we're talking about nonprofits, it, it's counting towards uh, supporting their initiatives. So uh, it's really important uh, that um, we, can, we can know that Kazumi uh, helps out to, for them to gain as much uh, so that they can really focus on, on what is most. So uh, this is where they can really benefit from the technology like Simple like Kazumi so that they can reach out to their constituents, whether they are you know, donors or, or volunteers. So this technology really helped them focus on what matters most and what makes a difference for them. So uh, absolutely, um, every, every, uh, you know, every ups is good to take for, for all these uh, nonprofits. And I think they are grateful for that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Then, for Fiverr's working with us so far, what is the most feedback you get from our product, and which particular feature they love the most? 
Yeah, I mean, overall, uh, our clients are very satisfied with uh, Think Apps by Kazumi, your guys, your solution, your support. Um, I think it's, to be honest, nothing but uh, satisfaction. Um, so really, on our end, there is no, no complaints. <laughs> we're, we're very happy uh, for, um, you know, the, the integrations and Think Apps by Kazumi. In terms of uh, features, uh, there are many, many features that, uh, you know, you guys can help uh, us with. Um, on my end, I've been focusing a lot of, on MailChimp and the integration between Salesforce and MailChimp. So for all of the viewers, uh, please know that Kazumi offers a ton of integration. So if you're not working with MailChimp, if you're working with Constant Contact or, or the solution, please know that they probably have a solution tailored for you. And the website also will have the list of all the features you guys offer. So I just want to mention that before I, I go over just a, a, few, a few features, uh, so I'm just going to name a few, for example, um, one that's the Salesforce custom checkbox to MailChimp audience. So this is really key for having really that very uh, specific segmentations and being able, you know, on one end, for, for example, if we're talking about Salesforce, checking a box and really uh, having that reflected in MailChimp right away. I mean, it's amazing. There's also other features. I mean, it's, it may sound obvious, but it's not for everything. So for example, the, um, the email opt-out uh, is very important so that you can have, you know, that uh, if, if someone unsubscribed and it's opted out in Salesforce, you also have the feature to do this the other way around where uh, we can opt out from Salesforce and it's unsubscribed from uh, MailChimp, which is really, really important to have that bi-directional uh, uh, functionality. And this is something again that uh, some other uh, connector, and I'm thinking here on top of my head on the, the standard matching connector, which, you know, doesn't offer um, not even half of the features you guys offer. Um, for example, you don't have the, the, the opt-out there, which I think for me is an essential. You guys do it very well. Um, they, they don't have the update on the campaign member status. That's something that you guys do as well. Um, you guys... Uh, allow for syncing on leads, contacts, accounts, and personal accounts. And on the other end of the free connector, you only have leads and contacts. I'm not talking about support. Um, so your support is tremendous, as I mentioned. Uh, on the other end, there's not so much support. So really, it's, uh, it's day and night. Um, in terms of other features, uh, like I briefly mentioned, I mean, the fact that we can um, track the marketing metrics, like the open, the clicks, the bounce, and so on, bring them back to Salesforce. It's really important. I mean, if you're working in marketing, you're going through a Salesforce campaign, you want to be able to see the impact that your uh, work is having. And then you can, you know, refocus or reorient your efforts if, if needs to be uh, to be done. So yeah, really there's, there's many features. I'm just going through a few of them, but uh, really helpful and, and uh, really, you know, you can really pick and choose what fits your uh, workflow. So really, really great features. Thank you for highlighting those features, Julian. Yeah, those are the very powerful uh, features that CCAPS has. Then most of our subscribers really love to use it. Then uh, basically, Julian, we're still um, doing some enhancement, improving our products here so that it would be easy for our subscribers to use it. And more features to come as we want to engage more engage for those features that it would help those future subscribers to use it especially you here in syncaps as a partner here for almost five plus years now then yeah thank you for that one then so what's the top industry do you 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 guys usually encounter when they're looking for a um solution like syncaps yeah um so i i was looking a bit quickly and and it's really uh, I saw like two two um, type of industries. So we talked about nonprofits, that's for sure. But also on the flip side, which is kind of a, a direct opposite, we have, for example, the financial services industry that work with Syncaps. So as you can see, um, I think that uh, Syncaps and Kazumi uh, is really a solution uh, that will help any industry. I mean. It doesn't matter if you're in, I know that you have clients in pharma, but if you're in pharma, if you're a nonprofit, if you're for a financial industry, no matter the industry you're working on, I think that really sync apps can provide you with tremendous value and really add up to your flow, simplify, free sometimes. And again, I think uh, all industry can benefit from, uh, from sync apps, absolutely. Yeah, I see. Then last, Julian, then when it comes to the 
um, most of the competitors uh, of Syncaps, how do you see what what is the advantages of Syncaps? Do you do you think then how does this attracts your clients when it comes to pricing or whatever it is? Yeah, you can just mention it, Julian. Yeah, just wanted to also to see if what really um, attracts our subscribers also uh, subscribers aside aside from you guys or so soon boarding uh, some clients with us. Yeah, I mean, uh, you guys at uh, Syncaps offer, you know, different uh, price brackets. So before we're talking about pricing, I mean, the fact that you're uh, offering a free trial is really useful because the client can, from the beginning, even they are connected to a sandbox or to their product, uh, environment, they can see the value of Syncaps on the free trial and they can see the power of the integration and how they can benefit from it. So really that before we go into pricing, that's, that's very important. Now in terms of pricing, uh, you guys offer like three different brackets in pricing. And it's really important because um, thanks to these uh, different brackets, you know, the clients can really see depending on their need where what uh, you know price offering will benefit them the most. And, and we've, we've been able you know, to uh, orient our clients to the, the best the best pricing, uh, the best price point based on features and on the requirements that they have. So we can, you know, always make sure that we will uh, uh, give them the, the, the best option in terms of pricing. And, and also your website described very well, you know, all of the, all of the features, all of the difference between the, the different uh, pricing options that you have and the future you be benefit from and so on. So, I mean, it's really clear, um, very easy to, to select. And the price points are great, and I know that you also offer uh, discounts for nonprofits. So we're talking about nonprofit a lot, but it's also really a plus uh, to bring you know uh, that extra value on top as well uh, for them. So yeah, great. Yeah, thank you for that, Julian. Yeah, I think that's very detailed, Julian. Thank you, for, thank you very much. And I assume that all, and I think all of our subscribers today and all of the viewers would really love to hear that one, especially for the pricing um, comparison of the competitors as we're going to, we, we, we already have some updates and upgrades of our pricing now. And all, all of the hot features was already included to all our paid plans already, uh, also. And all of the upcoming features, we'll be putting that here in our YouTube channel also very soon. And I think that's a wrap for today, Joy. Uh, interview Julian. Uh, for sure, our uh, Syncap subscribers and Salesforce user would get a lot uh, ideas and knowledge on this segment. Again, again, if you guys are looking to build a relationship on your business or organization, we highly rec recommend Nexil as it helps you optimize your process with custom CRM, uh, CRM solutions. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe so you so you won't miss an update. Bye, Julian. Thank you. For, thank you very much. Thank you very much, John. Have a great day.